So let's say you're at the car dealership, and any any car dealership, what whatever car you prefer, uh, like a BMW, a Ferrari, anything really. You're at the car dealership, and you're buying a car. Because what else would you buy at a car dealership? Actually, you could probably buy parts for a car, probably an oil change if your car needs one. Uh, tires? Do they sell tires at a car dealership? I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, anything car related. I mean, they have might, they might have a vending machine uh, where you can get maybe some uh, some Coke, some Pepsi, maybe some chips. Uh, you can't get Coke and Pepsi though because they can't sell both. Companies won't let them. It's either one or the other, really. Um, but anyway, back to the car thing. So you're buying yourself a nice car for the sake of the story, BMW. Um, got yourself your BMW. You know, you're you're signing it. You're signing not not the car. You're not signing the car. You're signing the contract. You know, you're ready to take your new BMW for a spin, right? And um, you know, take it for a test drive. You like it, and you bought it. You buy the car. Now you're on your way home, and for the sake of the story again, let's say you live like three hours away from home, and you turn on the radio because everyone likes the radio when they are in the car, unless you really like silent rides. That's always weird um you know what they say watch out for the silent types i don't think that directly correlates with the radio but nonetheless don't listen to nothing on the radio listen to music or something and it on the radio they tell you you know it's raining cats and dogs or it's going to rain cats and dogs now you're probably thinking like wow that must be some pretty hard rain um I should probably try to get home because I don't want to get caught in this rain, especially with my new car. I don't want to get it all wet. Um, <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't want to get the car wet. Like most cars get wet, but let's say uh, you don't want to get your car wet. It's not waterproof, and so you're you're now speeding home, and then you get a call. You get a call from your mom um, or your dad, whichever, and uh, they tell you, "Hey, you better get home quick. It's it's gonna be raining cats and dogs." And you're like, I know, I heard it on the, I heard it on the radio, um, because that's what I do in the car. And they're like, okay, good, because it's gonna get serious. So then, you know, now you're getting worried, cause like, oh man, a storm must be coming. I, I just got a call from my parents telling me to get home. The radio's telling me to get home. And then you look up at the sky, and it's really dark. And uh, now you hear barking and meowing, right? And you're like, what? What is going on? Uh, the the dogs and cats must be getting ready for this massive storm because you know how like people say that when a massive storm is coming like dogs and cats and animals in general can tell well that's what you think it is so you're driving home and you hear a whole bunch of of cats and dogs barking and all of a sudden right a cat just boom splatters on the road and you're like what just happened there's blood everywhere it's gross and this, this cat just randomly, like, fell to the ground and, like, splattered a few feet in front of your car. And you're like, who just threw this cat in front of my car for it to be splattered? Uh, now, you didn't run over, it just kind of fell, so you're probably like, this, first of all, this guy had an arm, because he threw that cat really high up. Um, but then, all of a sudden, boom, right on the hood of your car, a full-sized mastiff dog just falls right on your car and just dents it and then ruins your car true story that happened to me it was actually raining cats and dogs and a bull massive just fell on my car um yeah obviously that didn't happen guys but today i was thinking like what if everything that we said was literal and the first thing that came to my mind was it's raining cats and dogs how horrifying would that be? Like you just buy your new, your new car, your new million dollar car, whatever, and then it starts raining cats and dogs and a bull mastiff just falls on the hood of your car. Now if you don't know what a bull mastiff is, Google that. That thing's the size of a horse. Imagine a horse falling on your car, but a dog. Because we don't say it's raining horses and sheep, or, you know, we don't say that. We say it's raining cats and dogs. But, uh, I don't know, that'd be, that'd be really weird if that actually happened. Um, also, who came up with that expression, it's raining cats and dogs, that's horrifying. Not only is there gonna be blood everywhere, but that's dangerous. 
like even a small 50 pound dog even a even a small chihuahua that thing lands on your head it's, that's that's gonna do some damage um like isn't it if like you drop a penny from the empire state building like you can kill someone with that uh i don't know who got on top of the empire state building and then dropped a penny and then killed someone to to verify that but it's been verified guys that if you do that uh you may you may kill someone so don't don't drop pennies from that building and um yeah i don't know i don't know i was thinking about things like that but anyway um let me know some weird sayings that uh that we say or that people in general say that would be really weird if it happened literally um other than that i thought i'd bring you guys some modern warfare 2 just to kind of kick it old school i guess not really not too old it'd be old school if it was call of duty 4 or something but i don't have call of duty 4 who knows where my call of duty 4 is before uh can't speak good thing it's at the end of the commentary but yeah i don't know where that disc is um can't find it hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you guys did let me know in the comment section below and if you guys want to see more modern warfare 2 or any other game in particular let me know down below